in January of 2012, an education facility on Magazine Road was officially opened. Skills Training Center is the brainchild of Minister of Education Patrick Farber and sought youths between the ages of 14 and 18 who dropped out of school and needed to learn a discipline. The center aims to empower its students by providing them with employable skills in five different areas. On the occasion of officially unveiling its mission vision statement, an open day was held at the facility. We are basically having an open day to sensitize the community and the city at large um, of the different programs that we offer. We opened our doors in 2012, January of 2012, and we have served over 400 students thus far. We have completed four cycles. This is our fifth cycle. And um, we have five skill areas in which our student could enroll. We have the front office or hospitality, the barbering, art, art and craft, um, and PC repair. The goal is to provide trainees with skills training, basic competency in numeracy and literacy standards, and other educational opportunities for entry levels into the world of work self-actualization, and to become contributing members of their communities and country. Upon completion of the program, the students are transitioned either back into the formal education system or into the world of work. I am learning about different career opportunities, room status, features of telephone, and different things about tourism. From the age of 14, I started off when I was in standard six, when I was starting to draw. I thought I can basically draw humans, so I take pictures and draw off the pictures. And I look at myself and I said to my mom, what the hell am a day I look at myself and said to my mom, Mom, I want to develop more in arts. I come, attend the school, I meet up to my teacher, Mr. Brad Stedman, and he was someone who opened my eyes some more because the art that I see at the school for the starting, I was like, okay, if students who left the school can do that, so can I. Barbering is a trade that can be easily turned into an entrepreneurial venture and 15-year-old Kenneth Dixon has his eyes on the prize. He says it is not an easy task, but he's willing to do what it takes to become successful. Since I came here, you know, it's been great. I didn't really know much about barbering, but my teacher, Mr. Mr. Baptist, he, he taught me everything I know. Now I know to do basic tape, skin tape, and fear, you know, right in here, you know. Yeah. Now, where do you see yourself going at 15, um, learning this skill? and going out into the world. Well, hopefully finish college, right? And open my own barber shop eventually. Have some other people working with me and you know, I'll be the boss and thing, but I'll still in the cutting here the same way. Technology is used across public and private sectors and computer technicians are in demand. That is what prompted 20-year-old Ian Rodriguez to join the IT program at the facility. I can take down and put back a computer. I can find out what is wrong, troubleshoot, I can install a hard drive, op, um, optical drive, and CPU, can do many, many more. So ready for the workforce? Yes, sir, I'm very prepared. But the center is not limited to dropouts. Adults, especially women, who would like to learn a trade in sewing or the like, can take advantage of the programs offered at the institution. For me, we learned to do sewings. I didn't know anything about the machine when I came. I just know that they had a sewing machine. I didn't know anything about a sewing machine. We learned to cut, we learned to measure, we learned to make simple um, materials from just a plain cloth. We turn it into excellent ideas. We, we do like bed sheets, we do like curtains, we do like um, the small fitting for the bed. Take what you've learned and use it to benefit you, your family? Okay, well that will be excellent. Um, for my daughters, I have two daughters. One is going, two of them are going at Canaan. That will help me to sew uniform because you know today's days is very expensive for uniform and it will help me. Dwayne Moody for News 5.